pulled her tits to her shoulders so she could breastfeed her teenagers while they were standing behind her. Mm. We're back! We did it, guys. We're fucking back. Episode number two eight. It's fully actual. What the fuck? It Man. wasn't. We weren't actually full for a bit. It was fully it was like <laughs> we were half ass in meals. Fuck mm. me. So what the fuck? We've had a month off of the podcast. And, and we all... are sleepy as hell today. Yeah, we've been out fucking filming. It's not our regular podcast filming day just this week. It will be back to normal times next week. But just this week, we're fucking trying to get on top of shit. And my God, bro. It's been fucking crazy shit, man. And we're starting prob- public shit again. Yeah, we've been filming some public experiments. But you're probably wondering what the fuck happened. Where you guys go off for four weeks or suddenly like that gone. Like that what? This shit gets draining, everyone. <sighs> it gets fucking relentless. It's like you, you just, you've just sold your soul to entertainment and you can't get a break. And then you've got family members who have health problems. So you go go help them. Because family, at the end of the day, is <laughs> sort of comes... Well, I think what it was, it was... Uh, Second. We were leading very unhealthy lifestyles, is what it was as well, to coincide with our... We weren't getting much sleep. We weren't getting much sleep. We were putting a lot of bad shit in our bodies. Going. We weren't working <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, we weren't exercising because COVID snapped us out of our routine of gymming because gyms were closed. So we just stopped working out, started eating shit started just fucking piling in the bloody cocaine on the drugs and oh my god we had a bloody fun time wasn't that true (laughs) (laughs) we had a bloody good time but then bang depression depression anxiety i can't you can't be funny when you're sad Mm -hmm. so we said you know what we need a break a proper just fucking because there's breaks we take breaks but really our phones are on us and we're fucking still replying to dms we're still replying to comments we're still checking emails so it's not a proper break yeah fuck do you know how nice it is getting rid of this thing so we needed to just fucking kids have a month off of filming and just fucking social media and and we just needed to sort of ground ourselves use that time to change our lifestyles a bit and so now we're fucking we're fucking healthy little beings aren't we eh? we're getting there we haven't we're, we're drinking far far less no drugs we're just gonna fucking we're just gonna bloody knuckle down and just try and be happy and funny and just work and, and make the work sustainable so enjoy what we breaks. used to do it yeah. wasn't getting fun anymore and we want it to be fun again and um yeah and now we're fucking we're like we've, we've cut back on all the bad shit now we're working our hard I had again a salad today you know we're fucking eating salads all the time and shit and we're feeling fucking good yeah and it's reflecting it work it's like it's more fun already like we're motivated to get some funny shit done i'm trying to get the purple shit have you guys noticed that fucking the bags i get it's probably still fucked there's mm. like purple shit around my eyes and bags. They're slowly going. People Varicose veins. Getting <laughs> your eyes. Yeah. Your eyes look more blue. Mm. So yeah, if you so <laughs> so that explains why the the break is we just needed a we needed a dramatic change to our lifestyles and we've done that now and it's fucking we're feeling pretty good already and it's only been what fucking a week and a bit back. Yeah. Isn't that right, mate? We saw <laughs> Fallon today. Yeah, it was some Fallon. We did a video with Jackson I Dowdy on the fu- it's on the fucking for the website. website. Yeah, the that would be out by now. No, it's out now already. It was out on Wednesday, Ooh. yesterday. So fucking, he pisses on us and shit. Like we were just trying to find out if he's real, and yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, once he brings out the salmon. <laughs> so um, caviar. <clears throat> luckily, ju- you would have seen that we still had videos coming out. It's because we had videos banked up. So during our month off, we still had videos coming out. But um, mm. now when, when we decided to start filming again, we got no videos, none. So now we have to fucking film hard and fast. We're grinding, grinding, grinding. But as we said, it's enjoyable again. I had fun today and I've had fun the last week. Hey, it's been a bloody great time, man. We went and played golf the other day, which oh. turned into a fucking, fucking fuck off pretty quick, didn't it? Yeah, God, <laughs> we didn't really. It, we tried to, we got too competitive and then we started cheating. Um, there'll be a video about that soon too, won't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, enough about Matt. Matt, what have you been doing? God, he looks so fucking dressed up today. Mm, he's he's got a, a belt, long hair, sleeved shirt, black belt. shirt. Oh, he's got those, those shoes on that, that those fucking bogans wear to the casino. 
I've been uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not nice. I think yeah, my shoes are shoes. above that. Yeah. But um no, I've just been uh researching in some uh very corporate areas. You have been researching. I saw thing on these days. Very research. Very oh, controversial too. That's an excellent segue. <laughs> Is it segue? Segway? Segue. Matt, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to say milk pillow. Milk pillow. Hmm. Say it how you fucking normally say it. Don't be America. How do I do I? We heard James Go on, told fucking us. Fucking say it, mate. Go on, say it again. So use it in a sentence. You are starting to piss me off. I man. have a milk pillow under my blanket. I have a milk pillow. Milk, under you, my milk. Said it. you fucking you fucking freak. idiot! It's an I, not an E. God, what are you, Egyptian slash New Zealand? How did you guys know I fucked that up all the time? James I just, told I just it. thought, fucking hell, he buried me. Why? I just no, thought- he said it was funny, and then we got mad. Really? And we said we. When it did up he tell you podcast. this? He was over the other night. We were playing. He was, dro- he was dropping the bloody green screen Hawks. back, and he said, "Hey, get Matt to say milk pillow." Yeah, what's it look like? Is this? Yeah, you, it looks good. Can yeah, you see the, the bottom wall. Um, yeah, it, I mean, obviously just, you can't with you in front of it, but the, the green screen, um, for those watching the video version of the podcast, the green screen will be back next week. And this okay. is the piece I did on my month off. I've gotten into art. That's what he spent his <laughs> month doing. So yeah, psychedelics. Oh, we're going to become so beautiful now as well. So you might notice. Our no, bodies, don't fucking talk it up. You might notice our bodies transforming over the next few weeks. We wear the same shirts. And that's because we are, <sighs> aren't we? Hey, hang on. What? What's wrong with the way? What? Why is it so bad that I say milk that way? Because, because you're pre- not it's pronounced that milk. It's not fair. Well, what else? Say six. Six. Pillow. Pillow. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Just. And you know, it actually just highlights that James Lee is quite a good friend. You two didn't really pick it up, so no, I'm, I I'm quite I just... offended. I'm quite offended, and I'm probably going to go to the government about it. I don't even hear. Okay. This, what you've written here is disgusting. <laughs> Matthew Brown. Okay, you, these on these days are disgusting. Do you hear me? Disgusting. On this day, in 2014, Justin Bieber boiled his testicles by standing over a pot of water and dipping them in when the water was scaldingly hot. He had some slut over and couldn't find any condoms and read online that boiling your testicles kills the living sperms in there, making his next load sterile. Things didn't go quite to plan though when Justin sprayed his now boiling hot man cream onto the girl's face, giving her third degree burns and blinding her in both eyes. She fell pregnant anyway, but chose not to keep the baby because blind parents are fucking shit at looking after kids. Literally. <laughs> wow. Let's just let's just You're give an a, asshole, a moment to let that sink in. Ah, I feel heavy. I feel heavier knowing that. On this day in 1994, Will Smith came home to see his wife being rage pumped by a close family friend. Will stood in silence as his wife's body was being scrunched up and pounded in a hot sex dance, which ended in some incredibly fast thrusts. Will's wife noticed him watching after and said it wasn't what it looked like and that they were just exercising and accidentally got entangled. Will immediately forgave his wife and went on believing it was an accident for another 15 years until he became suspicious when he found her entangled with another man for the 116th time. They are now spending some time apart so Will Smith can get on top of the housework without stumbling across his missus being filled by other men. Ooh, Will's a recent thing about that. Yeah, well that makes sense. So she must have been doing that for a while. It's partly true, that's so. Didn't he like... What do you mean, partly true, Matt? He went on Oprah Winfrey. We left out some facts. Oh, right. You left some of it out to keep... To make sure that legally... Keep the the lawyers away. Because Will Smith said he didn't want that part on there. And for contrast. Spoke to Will Smith. For contrast. I rang him. Had a chat before we did the podcast. That's how deep his research connections go. On this day, in 1999, Cristiano Ronaldo was approached by a female fan hoping to get a photo with him after training. 
She handed him her eight-week-old newborn baby, who happened to be wearing a black and white spotted onesie. Cristiano tossed the baby up, out in front of himself, before stepping forward and striking the baby cleanly and powerfully. The baby slung into the top right corner of the gull, spinning violently through the air. The volley itself was incredibly impressive, but unfortunately the baby was killed instantly. Cristiano admitted later that he assumed that the baby was actually a soccer ball. Ronaldo was not charged because he's rich and shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine kicking a baby. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's been done in, in history. Someone's Dude, definitely in done. In Cambodia, it. the killing fields, they'd get them. I think we spoke about this in a previous podcast. They'd get the babies to kill them in the genocide, smack their heads, in the- <laughs> <laughs> smack their heads into the tree, <laughs> and you can see when you go there all their teeth. In the tree still. Well, they can't have been that young then if they got bloody teeth on them. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Though. Yeah. If they're fucking six, seven, eight, nine, swing away, That's bro. That's probably bad <laughs> too, but it's not as bad. As when did baby. you go to the killing fields? Last weekend. 23. It'd probably be better ago. being a newborn because you can't really remember shit anyway. You know what I mean? You don't know what's going on when you're a baby, man. You'd want to be a baby over a toddler because a baby would be... It'd be like, if it'd you're be, a toddler, you can, you know something's about to go down. Yeah, you know? 100%. You can, you can you're, oh, you're aware. It. But if, and your baby skull's weak as shit, so it's going to snap yeah, it's way easier and then you're just going to be... I still remember the, like how my early like first six months of life, how fast it all went and then sort of coming to when I was three years old at Christmas. Yeah, cool. you don't really remember anything till like I do. three or four. I do. Yeah, my memory's about all. five maybe. <laughs> Anyway, on this day in 2016, Mel Gibson used the fingernails of Jewish virgins to build a large boat. He would lure lure the Jewish virgins into his home with sweets and breast milk and then catch their wrists from a trap he had rigged using the bowl where the sweets were. From there, he would remove their fingernails and release them. He wanted to build a boat to prove that Jews can be useful for something, but was incredibly embarrassed when the boat sunk immediately as fingernails don't float. Oh, wow. Does he hate Jews? Yeah, he must do. Or is it? He's had a few instances like that were like caught on camera or caught in recording or something where he's um yeah he fucking he's hates been him. a bit. Uh, Hasn't he had r- like rants about him and shit? Yeah, a bit rant. That or a was bit it of a black rant. people he didn't like? No, it was no, that, no, no. That was crazy. He's just gone on a few rants. That's all. But yeah, he like I like uh, Ricky Gervais in the uh, the way he the way he introduced him at the yeah, uh, Golden Globes or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, my mum's met Mel Gibson. Oh really? Did she have sex with him? Yeah, I'm actually. He's actually my dad. That's Mel Gibson's son. No wonder you hate Jews so much, and you always snicker about them when they walk past. <laughs> That's you're German. Oh, I hate German. Oh, look at that Jew walking past. Shakes his head side to side, angry oh, like that. No. No, you're the <laughs> German. And. Yeah, I'm German, and I don't hate Jews. That's how open-minded and loving I am. <laughs> 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 Um, mm. Anyway, it's uh, next segment time, and the segment has not been renamed. It's just called Q and A. Oh, we don't have many questions because we forgot. So we'll do the couple that we do have, and then me and Martin will ask each other two questions. And then starting next Tuesday, so you, when you see this, you'll see this on a Monday or a Tuesday. Send some depending through to where Instagram. you are. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a story up. So send us some questions that you want us to fucking answer on our DMs. All right, and it's just we forgot today we're filming, and because it's not our usual podcast that we're a bit all over the bloody joint. Hey, sorry, mate. Huh? Um, I just need to duck out for an emergency call. No, no worries, mate. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. No worries, Matt. Uh, Connor, cut that. We definitely won't be That's talking not- about you. I can't believe him today. Man, my eyes are closing. I can't believe him today. Can you believe that? Yeah, what did he do again? He was pissing us off about... He was just like... He's being all like... There was something he did. My memory's fucked. Like, comes in wearing like a suit. Oh, yeah, the formal wear. It's like, man... Like, really? You know? Trying to make us look shit in casual wear. Wear the stars, Matt. (sighs) Taking It's really shaking me. All right, this one's from Crunch- Crunchy Labia, probably. Crunchy Labia. Hi, this is a question for your podcast, please. Crunchy I like to listen to your podcast for fun and relax. Marty, has a cow ever attempted to revenge fuck you? No, that's all just- Because they're dead normally well, or highly like, wounded. It's constant fear. Like, there's balls won't even charge at me, brother. You know, like, they fucking know. Like, they've seen me around, like- 
It's hard. It's getting hard because like they, they can see me. sense they shit see like me dogs fuck, too. They see me sprinting up the fucking roads a couple of k's away, and then they start moving already. So I have to like approach at night time. It's getting difficult, but I like the challenge. I love it. It's getting like I really have to strategize and like pick my spots and and pick like the weak ones and it's just like it's becoming quite a mental exercise and i'm really enjoying it it's like really fun having that extra challenge of them knowing who i am now do you, you know what i mean when you fuck <laughs> when you fuck a kid cow like a calf mm. do the parents come and defend it or it they is it, it is a fucking everything evacuates not just cows other animals leave as well it's not something you want to be around. So the parent won't defend their kid. They'll let you fuck the kid. Look, look. A calf. Look, if, if if a cow comes at me because I'm, I've got its calf. It's it's too dead. So it's like there's no point. It's like if I'm shooting your your kid, you're not going to come and say, "Hey, stop doing that," because you should get shot as well. But Leave. You, no, you beat them. There's you a can't. chance. You can't. With the kids, it's harder. It's 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 I'm. I'm not me when I'm there. It's like a, a monster. Yeah, I can see that. I've seen parts. Yeah, of that you've before. seen you've seen glimpses. That was the time when we abducted that dude in the boot. Mm, exactly he right, was mate. his chest pretty hard. Exactly right, mate. When we kidnapped that guy for As money, we pissed in his mouth. When until we kidnapped he that jizzed. fucking guy. Episode sixteen or seventeen, I believe, podcast season one. It's in season one. It's the story, a fuck story. But we only gave. We can only we, give and parts we, of the story because because I remember even when we told that story, we had to like. I think I admitted some then, so you can link them together. And remember, we did it so you don't have to. So, so it's fucking. We're fucking heroes. <laughs> also, the second part of that question is. Also, due to you are scientists, if you put food in your bum, do you poo out of your mouth? I saw this once on a show and I have conflicted ideas about it. Depends how much food you shove up your ass because some of it does get absorbed into the colon walls. I've seen it. I've been in a colon. Well, you can shelve pingers. Yeah, and they stay there. When you do it, for people that are above 18, you put your finger in there with the pill. You don't have to go far. And then you just hook it in. And then it somehow it just works. It's gone. And then, it's then, probably what twenty minutes it hits. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it hits you quick. <laughs> the little veins in your bum soak them up real fast. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Um, La- I just realised that this Instagram name, Crunchy Labia, isn't a labia part of a woman's click click click? A labia, labia. Look, What's I'm that? Gonna Google it. If Matt Brown was here, he'd be able to Google it for us. Anyway. He's being corporate. Labia. labia. There are two pairs of labia, the lips of the outside of the vagina, known as the labia majora. See? Crunchy labia. That is fucked. (laughs) (laughs) Granola. Granola bar. That's like menopause shit. (laughs) Next question. All right. This one's from TRC. And if you want to go to his actual Instagram, it's born.2.b.metal. But, <laughs> oh, by the way, this podcast is um, proudly sponsored by the University of Markle website, our uh, subscription website. And the app will be ready soon. We've hit hurdle after hurdle with this fucking app. And the Apple Store it's, has so many fucking things that you need to tick off before you're allowed to post, publish your fucking app. So it's coming, and I know we keep saying, oh, it's about a month away. It's about a month away. But yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't know. It's not far, but I, I can't give you a day, man. I can't, I can't do it. Yeah, it's, you know getting, what I mean? it's getting silly. So if you want to support this podcast, subscribe to our subscription website. Right? Help us. Oh, yeah, we're going to start um, replying to some comments on these on, on the YouTube as well. So if you have any questions you want to ask about things that we haven't covered or during the break or whatever just fucking fucking whack them down and bloody we'll go through bloody that Matos, questions. fucking Matos Gregory fucking Brownskis will fucking have a go at answer him for you brother <laughs> sorry who was it uh, it was an emergency work call who was it for research Um, I can't say his name legally he's a special assistant researcher Mm. Oh, <laughs> uh, impressive! And from this born dot two dot dot b dot metal, 
How old were you both and what's the story behind the first time you shown your rear gaping lemon lips to a stranger? Love what you fucking dog cunt legends do. Proud member of your site. Mm. Oh, legend. And I love the content. Keep it up. True fan. Back, Michael. Love you. Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh, when we, Yeah, it's a bit of a party trick now. Pulling our ass cheeks apart. We used to do it in high ring. school to all of our chick friends. It's fine when I you're under 18. You can show it. anyone your asshole. I used to do it to you a lot and like and blow kisses. Yeah. That's oh. how it started, I think. The kiss blowing, and then we just started doing it to friends because remember they were Ash always and Ellen. We I'd always show them my asshole because <laughs> <laughs> they were always so shocked and disgusted. I think I, there were some questions that I fucking had follow through question. But with that. we did have that fucking story from a few weeks ago where I sexually assaulted a bouncer at a. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. That was awkward. Yeah, go on. Let's fucking hear it then, Cal. Yeah, let's I go. Let's it before, hear it, Cal. But I was trying to go have into a bathroom before? with a bag of sugar. To have sugar with my friend, and he was behind me. And then when we got in there, he wasn't behind me, and I quickly got down at all fours, pulled my pants down, spread the asshole. Expecting our friend to walk in behind him, but no, a bouncer walks in first. And he just fucking, lo- he thought I'd killed someone. Oh, sorry, no, no, sorry. <laughs> get out, get out right now. It just Michael. went insane Michael. from zero to 100 because he saw a bum hole. Michael. Bumhole. It wasn't the security guard. It was the venue manager. That oh, fucking crazy. same thing. No, because the security guard was quite nice to you guys about it. Oh, yeah. So, so I didn't want to like, put him he down. Was. He actually laughed about it. So. Yeah, he laughed about but it. The it, venue is, manager uh, it is a shocking thing to see. Not many people have... Not probably 99.9% or maybe like 99, 98% of everyone in the world hasn't seen a stranger's asshole. A stranger's asshole. Even a chick's asshole is fucking gross. You you fuck them, you fuck them and dip your fingers in them. <laughs> a lot of the, a lot of boys now love to just sling their tongues up assholes. <laughs> yeah, we know a few. I think I'm too old for that phase. Yeah, I, I can't do it. A rim job would be too much. It'd smell like it, like what the fuck? You you're licking shit. Oh, especially after a night out in the clubs, getting all boogie. Like you, it's the same as licking a toilet bowl. You're shit sweat up there and fucking. Oh, gruel. And then if you jizz in it, they shit out top deck shit. A one quite a uh, very good memory from the time you're getting kicked out. Um, the venue manager was going off at us and yelling at all of us like we'd all done it to him. But um, <laughs> one of the best parts- Always get us in strife. <laughs> yeah. One of the best parts was Michael turned to the venue manager and goes, I, was, I wasn't even half spread. <laughs> Which provoked yeah, me. I had, it, I had this fucking last minute thought. I was like, what if it's not mono? <laughs> and then I turn and oh. you see his face make eye contact. Oh. Eye contact with both oh. my eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> eye contact with both my eyes and then eye contact with my third eye. Oh. And I just, it was like, oh, I'm, I'm fucking out. And then I straight up, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't meant for you. Oh, <laughs> that'd be a better. <laughs> this whole, that whole story would be a perfect cartoon to make if someone could. Because that'd be really could, Yeah, funny. we need to get back in those little animations. <sighs> Marty and Michael But yeah, seeing an asshole is a very shocking thing, I think, yeah, if someone yeah, hasn't even, seen it before. But we should do a video just showing people our assholes. Dude, I wish it was the more socially acceptable. But like, because yeah, with her every day, it's like you get flashes of bum hole probably 30 times throughout the day and spits of weird, hey, long come on fucking now. progressive hey. 30 second farts tightened. Hey. <laughs> That's the sound, but it goes twice as long. And you've seen it in it's a previous like podcast. It's more Go like back this. to it. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> They're too good though. You can't not love them. Like you it, are welcome, <laughs> world. My gift to you all. <laughs> that is special. 
shit. That is special shit. Three. Oh, man. Yeah, I found some questions. Oh, oh, okay. Let's progress with the question. Anyway, so uh, during the month off every now and then, I uh, screenshotted some questions you guys were sending in because uh, I guess some people just didn't realize that the podcast wasn't going ahead. But um, yeah, so we got a question here from Jason Jensen. Uh, J Jensen 1905 is his username on Instagram. I don't know. Maybe you want to like go check him out. <laughs> um, so he's asked, um, he said this, right? <laughs> Hello, fellow fellows of the scientific commune. Yeah, I separate with shit to a cunt. Anyway, question for the podcast. The old potty cunt, you know, eh? I'm not making this up. This is what he's written. My keen science eye has detected that your medic may be of the canine variety. I've recently acquired a canine and also need a new associate who can keep their fucking gob shut unlike the last cunt less said about him the better but anyway how do i get this dog to patch me up and drive stick it's also it's all about training uh, medics and dogs and all that's all about little little bits little bit of a time you're a great fucking dog trainer but we can be honest with him a few It's thick air. It's steam. It smells like a public toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, so it's too hard to hate. I love it. Like, oh. never ever stop that. It's one of your best tricks. Yeah, I know. That could fix fucking oh. poverty. That could oh, fix it terrorism. It has that would, fixed poverty. That's probably stopped, like... COVID in half of this state. I don't want this tea anymore. <laughs> Jason Jensen. It's uh, just little little bits at a time. Little, little train him to put. Do you want to teach him to drive a manual car? You say first teach him put his paw on the on the fucking gear stick. Then once he knows how to do that, you teach him paw, and then you teach him how to push it up into gear. So boom boom. And then you can teach him put his other paw on and start steering the wheel and then so on and so forth. So little incremental little steps. That's how you do it. And so, then a few huge lashings. And then every now, now and then, and then, then he acts out. out. Cunt's not listening. You fucking open palm, slam oh. him. <laughs> and anyway. he'll learn quick. But only when they're young. Because you don't want them to remember it. What is a prank? Well, I think he does remember it because he is so well disciplined. Yeah, he does not... No man, sometimes he tests it. Yeah, oh, yeah. you got to call him like three times sometimes. Yeah, he because yeah. he knows now that because he he yeah he never gets really disciplined anymore, so he gets lazy with listening. And then every now and then I have to yell at him, and then he listens again for a few weeks, and then slowly tapers off into not listening again. Bosley. Next question is from Charlie Harris, and uh, his username is um, Charlie Harris two four nine one zero. Okay. <laughs> And uh, he has asked if Stephen Hawking's is now a series of computers. Does that mean when I'm watching porn, I'm watching him or am I showing him the porn? P.S. I was going to send a dildo that I paid a friend to use while on her period and then realized how disgusting it was. Yeah, please. No, do that. Keep safe, guys. Anyway, how was Matt's weekend? Um, He is both. The, he's both the computer and... He knows what you're watching, but he is. Well, you are de- watching him. He's delivering it. He's So, you, if you type in uh, He's like porn, the mailman, postman Pat in virtual world. You type in porn, Stephen Hawking is the one who gives you the porn. He's, he hands it to the screen. He's got all his it. hands and he transfers the So, if the you files. open your computer quick enough, you can actually see glimpses of his little fucking fucked up little claw putting the porn on the screen. Little in his, sounds in his little fucking chair that he's in. He's still a bit fucking mangled and shit. <laughs> he's fucking gigabytes and shit, cunt. <laughs> he's fucking like code fucking hanging off his fucking face. Gigabytes over here, cunt. He's fucking putting the porn with a megabyte pixels and shit. Cunt. He drills wires. <laughs> he's fucking all over the shop, cunt. <laughs> his heart's a motherboard. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's he's still kicking in the <coughs> virtual world, and yeah, he is porn, and he watches your porn. And he provides it. He's Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman. Um, and Matt, how was your weekend? Yeah, it was good. I saw you guys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we we have a, created a new We've game. invented a sport called Tucker. And we will not... Oh, I can't wait to play it again. 
We, we could fucking somehow set up a competition. It should be. Oh, it's might, the new oh, UFC. It should be Olympics. Hey, um, also, before we continue with the questions, look, look, we've got some P.O. Box shit. You guys have been sending some shit. We're just going to open one at a time. There's a couple others, unless so don't we, worry. Unless we start getting heaps of shit, then we'll open a few. Um, but look, look at this big package. And I just noticed it says glass on there. Look at that. See oh. that? <laughs> It's got glass in it, so who knows what's in there? Could Don't be a do that pipe. The glass. Could be a pipe. Next question is from Poot P O O T S T O D R A S C H Mutz M O O T S, and his name is Matty. Good name. And he has asked. Love the podcast and the website. Just want to say, everyone fucking sign up, you fucks. Yeah, look at all these testimonials from happy website people. It's two fucking brand new videos a week. The, app, the app's going to make it better. The app is going to... You'll be able to comment. You can fucking... It's just going to be... Neck lel, brother. <laughs> neck lel. Anyway, Matty has said, any, a question for your podcast. What do your guys' girlfriends think of the podcast? And do you think they'll ever have them on as guests? Seeing your chemistry with your better house would make for the best content. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's something we give, yeah, we're yeah, we open to. Get, I think, get I think allowed, but mine used to, but I think she, there's just so many fucking vids now. It's like, I wouldn't want to watch her do her job every fucking day. Yeah, you, they get like, a bit over. Like, it's, there's just so much shit for them to watch. It's like, oh, yeah, another it's video. It's the same it's like, shit. It's like and a they fucking see video it live at fucking normally anyway. But yeah, some of their shit, in the, like the me just like showing the squirty. Yeah. Make do you sure do you, that around mine? Uh, uh, no, not to that extent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Connor, please blow my anus as well. Um, when, uh, when anus. Being placed. Is that anus. German? Anus? No, it's just how you say anus. So you oh, say, anus oh. sounds worse, actually. But yeah, look, we'll get them all. We'll fucking, I'm not, I'm not against having them on here. And um, yeah, and yeah, they, what do they think? They, they like it, I guess, because well, they need a fucked up sense of humor to be dating us. So I guess they like it. But yeah, it's like... Sometimes it's be like, oh, you got tattoos on your feet. <laughs> It'll be yeah. fun to explain to the family. <laughs> yeah, but if you if when it crunch comes to shove or shove comes to crunch, Push we are comes to shove. fucking so cool. We are gods. So like, they're lucky. Oh, look, he said another. He's got another question here. Hey guys, just wanted to say, loving the podcast, loving the website, loving all of the videos that you guys put out. Hope you guys are staying safe mentally and physically. Anyways, question for the podcast for when it comes back. Marty, how come you never do the weird gagging sounds when you're doing prankles? That shit is hilarious. It gets me every time. What weird gagging noises? What the? We were doing some of that today. <laughs> well, nearly, uh, mm. le- Three. Legitimately gagged then. Um, I don't know. I guess I can do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. We got some good videos coming. I'll do it. Next segment. Oh. Has been renamed. Hey, my eyes are closed. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Two. I don't even know how to say this, man. He's got his teleprompter and it's just a bunch of letters and words and a number. Seven. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> going to say seven. That's more like a number. All right, this segment is a uh, podcast where you just open the fucking shit you dog send to us live on the podcast. <laughs> Here we have a parcel from... It doesn't say. It's always a bit scary when it doesn't say, is it? <laughs> it could be fucking anything, Carl. One day. It could fucking be anything. One Couldn't day it? we're going to get like some fucking bad thing sent. Do you reckon that'll happen? You've had Shh, some bad saying things that. sent. Don't put it out there. Because yeah, then true. some fucking Human dog. Human shit's fine. That dude, I'd love to see a bloody dildo. That'd be funny. Well, didn't someone, someone said that. a period thing once? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, someone that was, that was probably the worst. I smelt that too. That is That's probably I smelt the worst. that with my nostrils. That was worse than shit. Yeah. Be careful, it's got glass, dude. Be careful, it's got glass. I don't glass, care. Dude. Whoa! That's it's good. fireworks! People listening on Spotify would have been like, fuck. They just yeah, got yeah, they something's just, just fucking blown up yeah. in the chunks and cut. Alright, let's see where it is. 
I can't let both fit you, Mark Libby. Fucking cunt. Shut up. Alright, I'm still opening it. There's like a bit of a cardboard fucking Ooh. thing. And now there's bubble wrap everywhere. It's not fireworks. <laughs> fucking hell, cunt. <laughs> Imagine if it was a car. Like a new car. Or a Bronco. One of the Brisbane Broncos. A baby Bronco. A signed photo of Darren Lockyer. It was Michael Fallon. Michael Fallon used to play for the um, Baby Broncos, everyone. Yeah, fun so fact. Go and message him on Instagram and say, Oh my God, did you really play for the Baby Broncos? Fuck me, they make things hard. Oh my God. Whoa. It's beautiful. I'll I'm turn, super excited. I'm turning around in a second here, mate. You're oh. not going to believe this. This is unbelievable. This is, this is him in his prime state. Whoa. So we've been sent a, a framed picture of Stephen Hawking when he's what? Maybe Stephen Hawking's. When he's maybe Stephen Hawking's. They fucked up the spelling. That's all right. Fuck, we're, we're going to have to find somewhere on the table right. for we'll, that. We'll find a Nico and add an S to the end. Holy shit. This Unbelievable. Is that's, that's, well, thank you. Can this go somewhere in the, like here? Would you be able to make that, that is work? fucking beautiful, mate. Just for today. Oh, fuck. Uh, did I'm they didn't have the best bats to that. They didn't send a letter or anything? They want us to, like, shout out something? I thought Steve could go on the new podcast tale from the lovely young chap you met at JB Hi-Fi. Richie, I remember oh, that. Oh, dude. dude. You fucking legend. What a nice guy. Yeah, that, that kid was a fucking ledge. Good Will on you. Will that just sit like that or do you want the big candle in front of the thing? Like I'm not a fukuru. Thank you very much for, for that. That is fucking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, mate. Does it Have look good? Have a on that, eh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Popped off. That's honestly, that and the drugs, that's second to the drugs we've been sent. <laughs> Just make sure you don't knock the table too much. No, I have to. It's good testing. It's what we do. We're scientists. We so test shit. That was the PO unboxing this week. We got some other cool packages and then we'll fucking... Should we do one more? I'm excited Yeah, fuck it. it. We'll do one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you want to... Ooh. <laughs> How does he do it for that long? I love the little... Explosions at the, <laughs> at the end there. <clears throat> um, remember, guys, if you want to send fucking incredible, meaningful shit like that, that's like a shrine. P.O. Box 256 Tagum 4018. Queensland, Australia. If you want to fucking uh, send us... Add to this beautiful table. That's the second best thing we've been sent. If you've got a business, you want to send us some shit, fucking feel free. We'll bloody open it live on the podcast. Oh, shit. I haven't even... Look, we're opening another one. <laughs> we're opening another one right now. And uh, this is from... I don't know. It's from France. Oh, this is from oh, France. Oh, oh, oh. It better not we've be from bloody some Paris. Yeah, we've had some run-ins with those bloody paris mm. Oh, this stands for Matthew. Hang on, what do we got here? Let's read this. Dear Marty and Michael, oh, here is a little present for you guys. I made it in honor of Matthew Brown from Research, our best researcher in the world. You are really funny cunts, especially Michael when he says DVDs and Marty when he acts like he has <laughs> yeah. Down syndrome and shits on Michael. Keep being silly baboons. Cheers from France, Simon. P.S. I'm an anteater. Holy fuck, he's an anteater. Wow. This stands for Matthew Brown's perseverance as a researcher. And he's drawn like a, a symbol. This is a symbol and it looks like a, a gonna, triangular... Would you get that tattooed? Erect dick. Yeah, all right. And that's that's actually rad. That'd be cool. But the the best part of it is, uh, it's a it's a framed image. Oh, oh yes. What does it say, Matt? Three. It says three. It's got the number three on it, and it's hand drawn and coloured in. And thank you so much, Simon from France. You're a fucking good good boy. That is so good. That's a fucking good boy. <laughs> Opening presents like shit Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shit Christmas or something. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful his handwriting is. Yeah, that was, it's very. French. Oh yeah, those French know how to very how French to write. handwriting. Everything oh. they do is. Elegant. It's all like eighteen hundreds. Hmm. Is that what it is there? And he's fully drawn like the revolution. An image for you, Matt. I know that's gonna get tattooed. That's Celebrity your, and Karakam. That's your logo. 
That's my logo. It's Matt Brown's logo. And we'll just sit that there like that. You guys can see that now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so the next segment has been renamed to Guy. <laughs> And there's a segment where we um, do a stunt, a crazy, crazy stunt. And this week, uh, Michael is going to pour boiling water on his fingers. I reckon we try and snap the time machine over my head. That's thick. Yeah, it's very thick. Maybe a touch too thick. Mm. It's made of steel and reinforced diamonds. Do you reckon... I just... I came up with that then. No, 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 no. Like that? This way. So we have this time machine here. Uh, it looks a lot like a remote, but it's a time machine. So we've used it in video, so don't don't say that's fake shit because it's fucking true, cunt. <coughs> and Michael wants to snap this over his head because we can build one of these. Like, takes I, a couple of hours yeah, on a Sunday, easy. On, a, on a Sunday morning, Sunday, or ma- Sunday morning, or maybe even like a Sunday afternoon or something. <laughs> I have lunch or something. So Michael's going to uh, attempt to break this on his head, and I am going to. Um, you should cut a finger off. Yeah. I'll cut my pinky off if you can break it. We got a pair of would scissors. Would you be able to do that with those scissors? Not with these, probably. No way. They'd be way too blind. What would happen if you went full fucking ringworm on it? It's yeah, just it'd, cr- take like, it'd take just like half crushes. an hour to cut through it. Just cush- it's crushes. It just crushes you. Oh, dude. Did I tell you this story one time when we were at your mum's place on a kick-ons? There was this blunt knife and I was sitting there trying to get yeah, attention. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> and I, it was blunt, so I went as hard as I could. Oh, shit. And it went in and then it started pissing blood and it freaked me out. I was like, but it didn't go deep. Mm. Yeah. Fuck that. Anyway, good day. All right. Here we go. Michael <sighs> is uh, removing his headphones. And, I'm going uh, to go in between time here. You've only got one chance. Just watch. So uh, we don't exactly know what's going to happen here because it is a what if fully, functional, fully, fo- fully functional time machine. We could end up in a different era, Matt. So get ready. Maybe message your mother. Let yeah. Because we might, might not be. Me, Julie. Uh, seriously, this is uncharted territory. I've never broken a time machine before. I've only ever made them. Anyway, good luck, mate. He's, <laughs> he's done it. He's done it. Check outside. Check outside. Are we still? Clock. He's got to watch. It's okay. We're still on the same time. Holy fuck! He's did it. Michael's just smashed the time machine on his fucking head in one go, brother. <laughs> oh fuck me, come I went in between time. <laughs> Look at that fucking bendy, brother. <laughs> fucking bendy, come <count. laughs> Look at all the um coding that we did in there. Look at that. That's the motherboard. What was the pain That's level? Steven in there. Out of ten. That was like, I don't know. It was nothing really. Okay. I want to see if I can go all so the way. So zero. Oh. oh. And now he has completely snapped the see, time machine See, the motherboard is half. the part you can't break because yeah. that's Steven's heart. I don't even know what would happen if this took like... If w- you fucked him there, he'd fuck you in the future somehow. See how we made the... Um, I don't, if you're listening on Spotify, we're holding up the motherboard here of our time machine. And you can sort of see like where we've made the connections and why we've made them there. And yeah, this equals... Time travel. So, <laughs> crazy how he fucking so cool. figure that shit out, man. I still don't get it. <laughs> sort of nature because it's green. <laughs> Matt? Vegan. All right, the next segment has been renamed to... I'm surrounded you. And this is a segment where we just do a prank call. And just prank call people. You guys send your prank calls in. If you got someone you want to prank call, fucking call them up and fucking fuck with them. Yes, He was recently caught sleeping with both his eyes at the same time. I don't get that. They both have kids to him and worked out they were fucking him at the same time. They're now friends and trying to piss him off. I was thinking you should call him and stir him up because both of his exes are sleeping around now. Maybe pretend to be a bloke sleeping with one of them. With one, their names are Molly and Kayla. To make shit worse, he also lost his job on the mines recently for taking explosives home to play with. Hello? G'day, is this, is, this, uh, is this Ari? Yeah, mate. 
Yeah, mate. Look, my name's uh, Gary, mate, and um, look, I've, I'm, I've, I've just found out some fucking shit news, and it's shit news for you too, mate. Like, but so basically, are you still are you still with Molly? No, nah, mate. How long have you guys been split up for? Um, I don't know since like November or something. Right, and and what about because you know Kayla two A? Yeah. Are you still with Kayla? No. Nah. Right. Look, mate, I've been fucking... Well, it's not so bad now for you, right? But, mate, I've been bloody... I've been with Molly for about... Well, it's coming up to bloody... A year and a half now, mate. Well, I've been with her. And, I like, seriously, only on the weekend just now, I found out, right, that she actually was fucking with you at the same fucking time while I was fucking her and like like fully like I fully like loved her and that man like well I was like ready to fucking like get down on one knee and shit man and like it's just fucking fuck my fuck my mind right up man like so fucking I, th- I got your fucking number right and I thought you know be a good cunt fucking call fucking call you up and let you know like <sighs> fuck me like I'm shaking man like I'm fucking shaking right now man. yeah I, I don't know it just feels like I don't know it seems like you're kind of taking a piss a bit I don't know what do you mean no, it seems like it's um, one of my mates stitching me up or something. What are you, Gary? I'm, mate. I've never fucking met you in my life. I've gotten, <laughs> I've gotten your number off, uh, off Molly's phone. Yeah, right. No, I don't know. It's just weird because you know she was living with me and everything. Yeah, I know, mate. Well, fucking, not a bloody, uh, not bloody. Some of the day, some sometimes, right? She'd fucking come over in the middle of the day and fucking, and she. Yeah, I was permanent day shift, so. Hey. I was permanent day shift, so that makes sense. Yeah, so fucking, she'd come around during the day, and we'd fucking, cause, cause I got, I got night shift, right? I'm fucking, I'm doing bloody labour work for the bloody council, and and we're fucking fixing all the roads and shit. So we only work fucking night time. So she'd fucking come around, fucking like two, three p.m. and fucking come over and like, mate, it was like fucking, it was pretty cozy for a bit, but man, it got fucking like, you know, it got pretty fucking serious, pretty fucking serious mm. to. And uh, yeah, like I've just fucking, I've found out right, like, and I've had to just fucking. St- you know, fucking, I'm out of there. Like, I was fucking done, man. I was like, fucking, I got her. And because I was trying to find out, I'm pretty sure, right, she's fucking doing some other bloke too. Doing yeah, some. No, no, you, yeah, you know, she's fucking. I don't know how long ago you were there, but, um, <clears throat> no, she was, uh, yeah, you know, doing a bit of that on me. Like, you know, fucking, as soon as we split up, she was taking other blokes home and stuff fuck while man. heavily pregnant. Jesus. Yeah, well, fucking hell, that's fucked. Well, have you fucking checked that the, um, kids are yours? Yeah, no, there's no denying it, mate. Like, the kids are... It's come out, split an image of its brother, that's of her sucks. brothers. That sucks for you. Fuck me, mate. That's, it's just fucking rocked me. It's just rocked me to yeah. the core, you know, and fucking... Anyway, mate, I just wanted to bloody call and let you know that, um, yeah, like, I, I, I didn't know what you knew and that, and I was just like, fucking, well, fucking, you know, do the right thing here and fucking give you, give you, call, give you a call and fucking just fucking see how fucking... See how she's fucking... See, see, see when you see, see how you fucking what um what you what you done what you knew about it you know so it's all I've no, been, no, no, I know I didn't know much at all yeah um no nah, no nah, that's all good man that's all in the past for me like you know um I got fucked over pretty bad by both so yeah they're all in the rear vision mirror. <sighs> fuck mate well yeah mate that's bloody yeah just fucking well, let's just bloody hope we can fucking move on and find bloody good one of the bunch eh? Hey, fuck me can't mm. fuck yeah no well, then, that's what I'm doing down here anyway just coming down and play step dad so yeah yeah alright mate well fucking hell I'm bloody I'm glad it fucking went down alright cause like when yeah. I found out I was fucking raging I was like foaming at the fucking yeah. teeth can't. I was what, like, what, what did you say your name was again Gary Gary who Gary Thompson Gary Thompson yeah right no no well, yeah, obviously, um, you can understand my suspicion because it's like it seems like you know. Yeah, and, and mate, like you're you're fucking to... you're like you're exactly right. Like your your suspicions, like you're hundred percent fucking. It's, mm. You're true. It's true. Like we, this mm. is a stitch up. This is a fucking. Mm. This isn't real. Like I'm fucking. Your mates. Like, yeah, like your mates fucking sent sent in a little story down our Instagram and said, "Oh, here, call my mate, stitch him up," and <laughs> and then and um, this this is this is my real voice. I'm not, I don't even talk like that. So, yeah, this is a 100% <laughs> a prank call from Marty and Michael, the fully actual podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. <on. laughs>
<laughs> but uh, fucking hell, she sounds like a piece of work, mate. Yeah, Jesus. no, yeah, proper piece of shit. Well, uh, yeah, that was all, uh, all a joke. So she, she wasn't. Ma- sure. Marty, um, Marty and Mike. Marty and Michael. No, no, it's um, no. Uh, we, yeah, we just we 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 just do fucking social media, and we just had someone send in this, and um, yeah, it's Kyle. So um, yeah, sorry to um, uh, call you. <laughs> no, 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 you're good, mate. You're good. <laughs> Thanks for taking it like a champ, and uh, good luck with everything, mate. No, no, it's cheers, mate. I love you. <laughs> that was awkward. I hate the guy you became. That was man. fucking awkward as fuck. I love fuck. the bit where you just kept going, yeah, man. Yeah. I was tempted to I was tempted to just fucking hang up because he knew straight away. But then he then he did believe me. Yeah, you brought him back round downtown. Oh, I got him, didn't I, Matthew? Mm, back fucking hell, we need a bit of bum. we need a bit of bloody work <laughs> to get back to our level. Fucking month off. We're a that bit was bloody. Okay. I enjoyed that. Uh, the character was so fucked. It's too cringy. I don't think people are going to listen to that prank call. We put my phone on silent. And we are the best. We're 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 the